Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're talking about playing Wordle. Very popular game. One problem, not yet, is that we do know the New York Times has bought it. So we don't know if it becomes part of their subscriber content. Uh, I'm kind of hoping they'll make an app for it so everybody can play it right through an app. That'd be kind of neat for your iOS or Android devices. But we don't know what's going to happen. So if you're concerned about it, you can actually download the web page and still play it offline. So let me show you how to do that. Let's load the Wordle website. If you don't know, it's powerlanguage.co.uk forward slash Wordle. You got the page loaded. Let's right click somewhere around here. It doesn't really matter in any of this area. And we're going to click on Save As. It might look a little different in different browsers. This is Microsoft Edge. For example, Google Chrome will just say Save As dot dot dot. So it's all about the same. Click on Save As. Now what you want to do, every time you download a web page, it's going to keep extra files uh, folders that are in the place that they're at so it loads correctly. So to make sure you do this right, let's get over to our C drive. You might have to click this PC and click on your C drive. Let's find a blank spot. Let me move this here. There we go. Right click. New. Folder. Let's name it Wordle. Press enter. And there's your Wordle folder. Now click on the Wordle folder so that you're inside of it. And that's where we're going to save the files to. Takes seconds. Close that back out. Now you can open up your file explorer. Go to your C drive. Find the Wordle folder. And double click this. And it's going to load it just like a web page. If it asks you which browser to use, choose your browser. And if it's a default browser, do always open because most people don't open HTML files so there's a pretty good chance it's going to pop up for you. So we're just going to do the double click here. So again, choose your browser, always open, OK. And there's the game. Now, there are some downsides. For example, you can play a puzzle every day. Everything's in place there. There are some downsides. You're going to start all over again, just like when you switch from your phone to your computer if you've done that or different devices, you're starting all over again. So that's, again, why an app would be really great for this. And probably another possibility is, obviously, the New York Times, they got a bargain for it, a little over a million dollars. Basically, you figure they're probably going to improve the game. So what you have saved is it. So if I'm saving the game on February 2nd, 2022, and the New York Times has made numerous improvements in words and whatever else, and it's now the end of 2022, you're going to be playing an old, outdated game. So it's just an option. That's what we do here. We're geeks. We like to mess with stuff. And uh, yeah, so we're messing with stuff. There you have it. Bottom right-hand corner, click, 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 click subscribe. And hear me trip over my tongue every couple of days. And if we helped you out, click like. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.